in the name of all that is holy. Did you see Karen Smith's biology notes? Of course, all the plastics are in the same bio class. Who are the plastics? Teen royalty. If Nordstrom's was US Weekly, they'd always be on the cover. That one there is Karen Smith. She's one of the dumbest people you'll ever meet. Damien sat next to her in bio last year. She asked me how to spell Dr. Smith. And see that one next to her? That's Gretchen Wiener. She's rich AF because her dad invented the stethoscope. Gretchen knows everyone's business. She knows everything about everyone. She smokes and has coronary artery disease. I'm pretty sure. That's why her chest is so big. It's full of secrets and black blood. And evil takes human form in Regina George. She's the queen bee. She's like the heart attack of coronary artery complications. <laughs> the other two are just her little workers. They're the angina and shortness of breath. How do we even begin to explain Regina George? Mm -hmm. Regina George is flawless. She has two Fendi purses and an orange Jeep. I heard her hair's insured for $10,000. I heard she does car commercials in Japan. One time, she told me that women experience less typical signs of a heart attack than men, like neck or jaw pain. She's a smart lady. One time, she met John Stamos on an airplane. Yeah, and he told her she was pretty. One time, she punched me in the face. It was awesome. Oh my goodness, where did you get that bracelet? I love it. The hospital. Why? I have coronary artery disease. That's so fetch. What is fetch? It's like slang, but from England. So if you're from Africa, why are you white? Oh my god, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. Katie, could you give us some privacy for like one second? Okay. So like, her blood vessels, supplying her heart with blood, oxygen, and nutrients is disease. Yeah, isn't that when the inside of the coronary artery is damaged? Yeah, and then like plaque and waste like accumulates where it's injured? Yeah, atherosclerosis. Should we should we tell her that all the cholesterol she's eating is probably not good for her? Maybe she smokes like a chimney. That can cause it too. Maybe she's sed sediment sed sedin sedentary? Yeah. Okay. So, we don't do this a whole lot, so like, this is a really huge deal. But, we want you to have lunch with us for the rest of the week. No more pancakes, though. And on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Okay. ...of a fatty acid ester. Over here we've got, well, 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 checkup results are in. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, is there a Taylor Zimmerman? Taylor, there you are. Taylor, your coronary artery disease could lead to angina, um, a heart attack, arrhythmia, and eventually heart failure. You're going to want to get that looked at. Uh, ben Coco? Ben Coco, you prevent coronary artery disease by avoiding smoking, eating healthy, reducing stress, and exercising. Keep avoiding bad cholesterol, Ben Coco, and go. You, you go, go, Ben Coco! Is there a... a Patty Heron? It's Katie. Oh, sorry. Okay, sure. Uh, nothing for Gretchen Wieners. Goodbye. What's it say? As we were saying, I've been maintaining my high blood the pressure and diabetes that we end up very well, and now I'm going in for a bypass surgery. Yes. This is great. These are known as sulfs. They are amphiphilic materials. You'll notice that the one end of the molecule. I hate her. Why do you hate her? What do you mean? Regina, you seem to really hate her. Yes. Uh, your question? Well, my question is why. Regina started this rumor that Janice was... Damien! Shall we not? Just tell her about the incident freshman year. Fine. Freshman year, Regina and George and I were best friends. Until we weren't. For some reason, Regina stopped talking to me and started spreading rumors. She told everyone I had coronary artery disease, and if anyone talked to me, they'd catch it too. The entire school started wearing surgical masks around me for months. I didn't have any friends until Damien came here the next year. The intelligence of the school is tragic. Tell her what you did to get back at Regina. <laughs> 
I switched her shampoo with Nair, and she went completely bald for sophomore and junior year. Wow. <laughs> Did she know it was you? No, and don't tell anyone. Let's go. Having lunch with the plastics is like leaving the real world and entering the girl world. And girl world has a lot of rules. The pancakes once a week rule is the worst, and Karen doesn't even follow that rule. We only wear jeans and track pants on Friday. You can't wear a tank top two days in a row. You can only wear your ponytail once in a week, so looks like you chose today. And we limit our pancake intake to once a week. And it's not just for you. If any of us wore jeans, we'd be sitting over there with the art breaks. And we always check with the group before we ask somebody to sit with us. I mean, you wouldn't just whip out the pancakes without asking your friends first. I wouldn't? No, and that applies to boys too. You might think you like someone, but you're probably wrong. Have your eye on anyone in particular yet? Well, there's this one guy. Who is he? Is he a senior? His name is Brock Artery. No, 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 no. you no. cannot like Brock Artery. He's Regina's ex-boyfriend and he's very bad for your health. They went out for like a year. Yeah, and then he broke up with her because she didn't know how to handle her diagnosis of coronary artery disease. Yeah, and she cheated on their diet with pancakes. Regardless, ex-boyfriends are off limits, but don't worry, we won't tell Regina you said anything. It'll be our little secret. Gretchen thinks you're mad at her for spreading a rumor about her experiencing ischemia because you don't exercise enough and eat way too many pancakes. Oh my god, I'm not mad at her. I'm just worried about her. I think she's scared that she's getting older and approaching menopause, which puts her at a higher risk for coronary artery disease herself. I mean, if she does get diagnosed, she's going to have a total meltdown. And who's going to have to take care of her? Me. So, do you think that since her father and grandfather got it so young, she'll be more at risk? Katie, yes. Family history is a major risk factor for coronary artery disease. You should know this. The crazy thing is that Karen should be the one to be diagnosed because she smokes, has high blood pressure, diabetes, and she's way too many pancakes, which causes her cholesterol to skyrocket. Ugh. Anyway, I have to go. Well, she's not mad at you. Hold on. Are you okay? Shh. Hello. If someone says something bad about you, you'd want to know, right? No. Well, what if that someone was your friend? What are you... Hold on, other line. I'm not taking this anymore. Way to go, Gretch. Hello? Let's go get pancakes. Okay, hold on. I'm on the other line with Gretchen. Don't invite Gretchen, she's driving me nuts. Okay, hold on. Okay, hurry up. It's Regina. She wants to go get pancakes with me, and she told me not to tell you. Do not go get pancakes with her. Why? You don't want to know. Okay, you can tell me, hold on. Oh my gosh, she is so annoying. Who is? Who's this? Gretchen. Right, hold on. Ugh, she's so annoying. I know, just get rid of her. Okay, hold on. Regina says that everybody hates you because you've avoided coronary artery disease and you eat way too many pancakes. She said that? You did it here for me. Little harsh, Gretch. Whatever, she has a right to know. I can't go out. <coughs> I'm sick. Oh, boo, you served this pancake. This bull sugar has gone on long enough. Round everybody up. Okay. This bull sugar bullying of each other has got to stop right now. We women's should be building each other up, especially when it comes to 
coronary artery disease misconceptions. We're going to start right now by apologizing to each other. Hi, Face. Melissa, I'm so sorry I called you a gap tooth pancake. It's not your fault you're so gap tooth. Laura, I don't hate you because you don't have the risk factors for coronary artery disease. You don't have the risk factors because I hate you. I just wish we could all get along like we used to in middle school. I wish I could bake pancakes made with no cholesterol, made of rainbows and smiles, and we'd all eat it and be happy with no fear of diabetes, heart attacks, or other health concerns. She doesn't even go here. Is that true? Just have a lot of feelings. Okay, we're done here.